Hello YouTube and welcome to another load balancing uh, tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how actually to configure login in HA proxy. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first thing first, why we need login? Well, for obvious reasons. So actually we use login for troubleshooting. So sometimes the load balancer doesn't act the way you want it to act. So you must troubleshoot and see what happens to your load balancer. So one of the reasons we use login also to just uh, see the errors, okay? So here I'm running actually HA proxy load balancer. So with this little script, we see that our uh, load balancer is actually working. So here we are using the route robin algorithm. So we have three backend servers. So as you can see here, it switch or actually it distribute the load between these three servers. Okay. So you can see here, we hit server one, server two, server three, and once again, server one, server two, server three. So our load balancing is actually working, okay? So in order to actually uh, configure login, we need syslog server, okay? So here we're gonna actually install our syslog server in Arch Linux. So it depends on your distribution, but here in order to install it in Arch Linux, to install actually Syslog server, it's pretty easy. We use our packet manager pacman minus capital S, then the Syslog package name. So here for Arch Linux, it's uh, Syslog uh, minus ng. Here we go. It's installed, pretty easy, pretty straightforward, okay? So the first step to configure login is actually we must go to our HA proxy config file. So if you remember, it's located. So let's first uh, use our editor nano. So as you may guess, the configuration file for HA proxy is located in uh, etc directory ha proxy okay and file name is ha proxy.cfg okay so let's open it so here you can see the default actually configuration that we have set up so you can see our front end and our back end which contains actually our three servers that actually are running uh, apache 2 web server okay so it's pretty easy pretty straightforward so in order to configure login we have to add some directive so the first directive that we add in the global section is to tell us a proxy that we actually want to log all the messages to the local server so here i'm on arch linux so the ip address of local server is 127.0.0.1 okay and as you may guess the default port for syslog is actually 514 okay pretty easy we need also facility we can call it uh, local zero it's uh, actually all administrator will use this local facility zero okay and we can here specify the severity level of our log so I will use just info but you can use uh, whatever you want alert or actually uh, debug or something like that we need also to add uh, another directive but this time in the default default uh, section okay so actually the directive is also log global actually we need we can actually use this directive in the other section in the front and and the back end but here if we're using it in the default section it means it will be applied to both this uh, actually sections okay so those are the two 
main directive that we add actually to our haproxy.cfg file okay so I'm gonna exit this file here yes and of course we need to restart our haproxy service so I will use here system CTL restart haproxy here we go so I have no error that's pretty good so now we are done with our haproxy configuration now we must actually also configure the configuration file of our syslog server okay so this file actually is located so let's invoke our vim editor you can also use nano if you want so the configuration file for our syslog server is located in the directive etc syslog ng okay and the name is syslog ng.conf so this is the configuration file for our actually syslog server okay here we go let's open it here we go so here you can see a bunch of uh, directive also okay so I will just go to the end and add mine related to our, my HA proxy okay so let's add it here so here I'm using vim so in order to insert I will hit the I key so now I'm in, in insert mode okay here we go and here we add a couple of lines so let's just paste them so we'll not waste time here we go so those are the line that we must add in this config file for syslog server so the first directive is source for UDP this is to tell actually syslog server to actually uh, log all the UDP messages to the local server so here you can see the local uh, IP of the server okay and the port also but the most interesting uh, config lines are those so the destination okay so here we specify actually where the log messages will be written so it will be written in the slash var slash log in the file called ha proxy you can call it whatever you want so here just for convenience we can just add here that log if you want so this is the file where the log messages will be written and the filter here we are using facility local zero that we have configured in our uh, ha proxy file okay and the most important directive is to log here so the log here we specify the source udp the filter and the destination file okay so those are the four lines that we must add to this uh, syslog config file okay so let's write that with the uh, command write and quit because i'm using here vim here we go then we must start our syslog uh, server okay so in order to uh, restart it here i'm in arch linux so in order to restart our uh, service syslog service we use syslog minus ng at default if my memory is good here we go i have no error that's pretty nice pretty good now we let's actually test if we are something here log it logged okay so first of all let me go to this directive uh, var log so normally here we will find all my uh, log messages so you can see here we don't have the ha proxy log file but uh, let's uh, go to our browser and hit actually our load balancer to get some uh, messages log messages okay here we go so this is the IP address of my Arch Linux which is actually my load balancer 
so let's try to hit it so we are in server 1 now server 2 server 3 server 1 server 2 server 3 so my load balancer is actually working great with the route robin algorithm okay so now let's try to see if we get our log file here so here I have actually as you have seen the HA proxy that log has been created okay so let's open it and see what is inside sudo I will just cut it using the cut command var slash log slash actually HA proxy here we go and here as you can see this is the timestamp of the different access to my load balancer so this is the IP address of the machine that I'm using to connect to my load balancer which is that one that 15 and here you see the source port and the destination port and we are hitting the web front and HTTP load balancer okay so actually we have successfully configured our uh, load HP proxy to enable login okay so here you can see that we don't get too much information for the log but this is configurable we can actually configure the, the format of our login but you can also if you go back to the HA proxy file here we go you can add here in the default you can add uh, option here to specify uh, the log format so first of all we didn't specify any any option but uh, let's say that we want for example to configure TCP log okay so we add this option here we save our file we uh, restart our service okay here we go and now let's hit once again our load balancer and see this time how the format will be so I will open my web browser let's hit one two three so the load balancer is still acting in round robin fashion which is good so now let's take a look at the log file here we go so you can see that format has changed so here we have more actually info about our login so before it was just that source and the destination but now we can see actually which web or which server has been hit so here you can see it hits web 1 that web 2 then web 3 then web 1 web 2 that web 3 okay we can also say actually the queue in and the wait time okay so it's more interesting option to add to your HA proxy config file in order to get in more details about your login you can also add another option but that's beyond this video I want to just show you the basic configuration that you can set up in able in order to enable login in HA proxy okay so that's it so that was just a brief introduction how to enable login with syslog server and HA proxy as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing bye bye